Welcome back to Learning Escape and this time I'm going to show you how to skew objects. Someone asked me how to do it and it's fairly simple. Let us just create a simple object. I create this rectangle. I will control go to 45 degree angle. I click on the X to get rid of the fill and I will shift and give it a black stroke. Now I create a polygon with five corners. I'll select it all object fill and stroke. Let me set it to pixels and maybe like 15 should be fine. And now I go to object, align and distribute and align it to center vertically and horizontally. The polygon is a little bit too big. So let me size that down. I'll hold control and shift while I do. I select it all, control G. So this is our object and I press control D and I create two copies. So on the left, I'll leave the original. Let us use this one first. I go to object and there's a transform menu down here. You've got the option skew and you can skew it horizontally or vertically. In this case, I've used the drop down for degrees. Just apply it. But keep in mind when you now change it from 12 to let's say 13, you're not skewing it an additional degree. It's going to get skewed 13 degrees on top. So every time you apply it, you apply it to the new form and not the basic form. So if you want to return, you'll have to go back minus 13, minus 12. And, and I guess I've had minus 13 two times. So there you go, we've arrived at the original. Same goes for vertical. Let me set the horizontal to zero and I apply it more and more. You can see it always gets skewed by five degrees. You can also do it manually, so not numerically. Just use the selection tool and I click on it two times and you've got these rotation icons, but in the center there are also other icons and they can be used to skew it horizontally and vertically. So you can do it by numbers or you can do it manually right here with a double click using the selection tool. And this is how easy you can skew objects in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.